Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video of cubes and cube roots part 2, we are going to learn what are cube roots, how to find cube roots by prime factorization method and also to find the smallest number by which the given number should be multiplied or divided to get a perfect cube number. So let's start. Now in previous video we have already learned that the cube of a number is the product that we get when that number is multiplied by itself three times. So let's say a is multiplied three times so we get a cube. Similarly if we take 4 and multiply it three times we get 4 cube which is 64. So but what is cube roots? We can say cube root of 64 is 4. Similarly if we multiply 5 three times we get 5 cube that is 125. Cube root of 125 is 5. Now 12 cube is 1728 therefore we can say cube root of 1728 is 12. Now this symbol denotes the cube root. So in symbolic form if we use the symbol we say cube root of 64 is 4, cube root of 125 is 5, cube root of 1728 is 12. Similarly we can take a negative integer also cube root of minus 343 is minus 7, cube root of minus 1000 is minus 10, cube root of minus 2197 is minus 13, right? Now let us study how to find cube root of a given number by prime factorization method. Let us take a number 74088 and we have to find its cube root by prime factorization. So first of all we shall find all the factors by prime factorization method. So we got 2 into 2 into 2, 3 into 3 into 3 and 7 into 7 into 7. So basically we can see over here we can form triplets of 2, 3 and 7. So we can say it is equal to 2 cube into 3 cube into 7 cube. So further cube root of 74,088 is cube root of 2 cube into 3 cube into 7 cube. Now take out one factor from each triplet. So we shall get 2 into 3 into 7 which is equal to 42. So we can say cube root of 74,088 is 42. Now suppose I put a minus sign in front of it and I make a negative integer. I have to find the cube root of minus 74,088. So just keep the minus sign outside because cube root of negative in uh, number is also negative. So just keep a negative sign in the front. And now cube root of uh, 74,088 is equal to 2 cube into 3 cube into 7 cube which is equal to minus 2 into 3 into 7 which is equal to minus 42. So we can say cube root of minus 74,088 is minus 42. You just have to put minus sign in front because cube root of negative integer is also negative, right? Now let us study the first case where we have to find the smallest number by which the given number should be multiplied to get a perfect cube number. So let's start with the question. Find the smallest number by which 3087 must be multiplied so that the product is a perfect cube. Also find the cube root of the number so obtained. Now this number 3087 is not a perfect cube number. We have to find a smallest number with, with which it will be multiplied to get a product which is a perfect cube number. And after getting that perfect cube number, we also have to find the cube root of that number. Now we shall start by finding the factors of 3087 by prime factorization method. So factors which we have got are 3 into 3, 7 into 7 into 7. Now factors of 7 are in triplets, whereas factors of 3 are in pairs. We, we are falling short of one more 3 to get a triplet. So we can say we observe that the prime factor 3 does not form a triplet. So to make a triplet of 3 we need to multiply the number by 3. So when we are multiplying the number by 3 we have to actually multiply both the sides left hand side also and right hand side also right. So 3087 multiply by 3 we get 9261 and further 3 into 3 into 3 now we can form the triplets of 3 so 3 cube into 7 cube so now it's a perfect cube number 9261 is a perfect cube number and now they have in the question also asked us to find the cube root of the number so obtained 
so we we shall say cube root of 9261 is cube root of 3 cube into 7 cube which is 3 into 7 which is equal to 21 so cube root of 9261 is 21 right now let us study case 2 where we have to find the smallest number by which the given number should be divided to make it a perfect cube that means the given number is not a perfect cube and to make it a perfect cube we have to divide it by some smallest number so let us start with the question find the smallest number by which 3087 must be divided so that the quotient is a perfect cube also find the cube root of the number so obtained now i have taken the same number which i took in case 1 i have to find the smallest number by which it should be divided so that the quotient is a perfect cube and also after getting that perfect cube i have to find its cube root right so i will start by finding the prime factors of 3087 and i will get the uh, prime factors by prime factorization method i will get 3 into 3 7 into 7 into 7 now clearly 7 is in the form of a triplet and 3 we are falling short of one factor it is in pair so we observed that the prime factors of 3 does not form a triplet we need to divide the number by 3 into 3 that is 9 to get a perfect cube number that means 3 into 3 is extra over here if we divide the given number by 3 into 3 that is 9 we will get a perfect cube number right so 3087 is divided by 3 into 3 that is 9 so actually we are cancelling out these 3 into 3 and we are left with 7 cube on the left hand side we are 3087 divided by 9 we will get 343 and on the right hand side 3 and 3 will get cancel and we are getting 7 cube so we can say 343 is a perfect cube number right now cube root of 343 is cube root of 7 cube that is 7 right so since it's a perfect cube number we can also find its cube root and cube root of it is 7 right so this is it hope you have enjoyed the video and learnt about cube roots prime factorization method and also the two cases please do like and subscribe my channel thank you everyone have a great day ahead